Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can manage our Sysmon configuration files directly through Copilot. So stay tuned and we'll jump into it. So you guys may not have noticed that under our agents tab, we now have a Sysmon config. Now, Sysmon is the telemetry gathering tool that we favor when it comes to monitoring our Windows endpoints. The Wazoo agent is great at collecting that telemetry and sending that up into the seam stack. And we have previous videos in the past, which I'll also link to in the description below if you are unfamiliar with Sysmon or what it's gathering. Now, one common challenge that we see is that while Sysmon, you can modify the config file, the config file can also be very complex. As you see here, in our experience, there hasn't been a structured way to manage the Sysmon configuration because we can dynamically update the configuration file that our endpoints get and also reload that without restarting the service or having to reboot the system to either include or exclude particular events that we want Sysmon to monitor for. Now, now Sysmon's config is pretty complex. I'm not gonna step into the technicalities of all that here. I just wanted to go over how we can now incorporate Copilot Pilot and our Wazoo manager to and some also some custom scripting which we'll look at here in a sec to manage our Sysmon configs directly from a central location and that being directly Copilot because oftentimes we'll see like for example we deploy out to a client's environment and they're running some antivirus that Sysmon is flagging a lot of events from, and we know this is expected, and we might want to add some exclusions, like here, what we're doing with Adobe. So depending on what application or, or software is running within your client's environment, we can tweak each customer's, and multi-tenancy is also a factor we're taking into, so we can modify every customer's Sysmon config directly from Copilot and let's say customer this customer is running Adobe and is also running Carbon Black and we want to exclude Sysmon from monitoring that because that is resulting in a lot of noise within the seam stack right we may know that this is expected software that is allowed to run on the endpoints and we don't want to consume processing power and disk space to log those events I want to add some exclusions now now, say that customer has now migrated from Carbon Black and they're using CrowdStrike and we want to update their Sysmon config to reflect that new change because we don't want to ingest all of the CrowdStrike noise that pertains around event ID 10s, which is process access. So now we have a centralized and dynamic way to do that directly within Copilot. But before we make our changes directly within Copilot here, we do need to make some configuration updates. So what I've put together is a public repository for you guys is called Wazoo Utils, which we'll get through deploying this in a second. But what we're first going to do is going into our tools folder and we're going to add these two scripts to our monitored endpoint. Now this can be passed if you've already last deployed out to an, a high number of endpoints, then you can deploy these out via an RMM tool or whatever other way you guys use to maybe GPO policy to, to manage endpoints. But in this example, I'm just going to actually copy them onto my Windows host here. So here I've got two files. I got this run sysmon config reload and then this sysmon config reload, uh, which is just a PowerShell script. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this guy. And then on my Windows endpoint where I do already have a Wazoo agent installed, I'm gonna go ahead and go into OSEC agent into active response into bin and then I'm gonna go ahead and paste that guy here so just open a text editor uh, paste in the contents and then save it within your bin directory and then I'm also going to do the same bin directory of the active response that is and then I'm also going to do the same with this sysmon config reload uh, PowerShell script now with this PowerShell script You'll notice that we're taking a sysmon path here. This is likely going to reflect a different directory than what you see here, Sock Fortress. So you can go ahead and change that. But what's important is that you will need to point to where the sysmon executable exists on your endpoint. So for example, if we look at our test one here, and if I go into C program files, if I go into Sock Fortress, here we have our sys internals, and indeed we have our sysmon 64 exe position there because what this PowerShell script is going to do is it's going to execute our sysmon executable but it's going to instruct it to reload the config and that config path 
is what Copilot is going to pass to our Wazoo manager. And our Wazoo manager is then going in turn to pass that to the agent, which we'll take a look at that here in a sec, a little further. So you will likely need to change your path just to make sure that it points to your Sysmon executable. But once I have those two files, again, under my under my active response directory of the OSEC agent, well, bin, uh, active response slash bin uh, directory here. And so here you see my two files that I have there on my endpoint. Let's now go into uh, the readme of this repository here. And we're gonna go ahead and follow these steps. And I'm going to implement these steps on my Wazoo manager that I have connected Copilot to. So under my connectors here, right? We have our Wazoo manager that is connected and verified. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is jump onto that host and then implement this uh, just very basic application uh, that we're running here. Because what's happening, let's, let's discuss a little bit of what's happening under the hood and what, what's making this possible. So what we're going to do is modify our sysmon config directly from Copilot. What Copilot is going to do Copilot is then going to pass that to the Wazoo Utils app, which is running on our Wazoo manager. Within this app, it is instructed to go through, and actually we can check that out here in a sec, just for full transparency, in case you guys are interested. Of course, you can look at the source code yourself. But what, what this app is going to do is for every customer where we have our Windows underscore, because again, this Sysmon config is only going to pertain to Windows. If you did use Copilot to deploy your, your customers, then your Windows will already, this Windows precursor will already be set. Uh, so you won't need to worry about that. But I guess if you have changed that for whatever reason, then you can just modify this code as well. But what the manager, uh, or sorry, what the utils app, what is gonna do for every agent group that starts with Windows underscore, and then normally that's gonna be followed by your customer code here. Uh, if you use Copilot to provision your customers within the Seam stack that we put together. So for every agent group that starts with uh, Windows underscore, it's going to write the Sysmon config.xml into that directory, which we'll take a look at here, here in a sec. But that directory specifically is going to be under var osec etsy shared and then windows underscore say customer code and then uh, slash sysmonconfig.xml. Now, a really cool little feature about Wazoo is that any file that you place within the grouping shared directory here, the And then once that's run, ran, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just run this application as a service. This step isn't necessarily required, but it is an easier way to, uh, to start up the application and uh, make sure it's running. You can also set it to uh, run at boot time as well. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and paste this command in there there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and paste that within there within this file as well. And then there is a change that we'll need to make. We'll need to change the server IP, but I'll go ahead and uh, save out this file first. And then I'll just run an if config to get the IP address of this box. And then I'm gonna go ahead and replace that there. Save the file. I'll do a daemon reload. And then I will go ahead and, and we'll go ahead and start the service. Hit that with a start. Uh, let's make sure that it is running. And if we make sure it's running, cool, we see our application has started up completely. And we see that it is listening on port 5003. Um, now, no modifications or anything need to be done within Copilot. What Copilot is going to do is reference the connection to your Wazoo manager, and then it's going to make the appropriate backend call to this application. 
So let's go ahead and jump back into Copilot and let's make our change here. Uh, what's the example I was going with was uh, event ID 10. I'll come back to that. And let's say I'll just make an exclusion for when the source image is relayed. Instead of carbon black, I'll just say CrowdStrike and I'll just leave that there. Uh, and then I'll just actually, so we know, I'll just make, I'll just call it test.exe. So what I'll go ahead and do is go ahead and upload this. And then once that is uploaded, so Copilot has now saved it locally. Now, once I hit deploy, what that's going to do is send that to our Wazoo manager and here, and more specifically our Wazoo utils app. So now if I look at our Wazoo utils app run a status here, Sure enough, we see that our route was invoked and we got back at 200. So now let's see what's happening under the hood, right? Because I mentioned that what's happening is that we are writing this new sysmon config to our shared directory for our specific group. Now, this customer was our 00001. So that's going to relate to, uh, if I go into var, osec, etsy shared, do my windows and then I'll go into 001. So if I CD that out, and then if I list this out, you'll now see that we have our sysmonconfig.xml file. Disregard all these other uh, Sigma rules that I have here, uh, Sigma files that I have here, but we now see that our sysmonconfig file.xml exists uh, within this directory. And now what's also happened is that if I go onto my agent here that is a part of this group and if i go into the shared directory and if we scroll down to our sysmon config we now have a new sysmon config and we can see that the the date of the file has also changed so that tells me that's a good indication that it has been modified with our new config but let's go ahead and just verify that uh, let me do a troll f for crowdstrike and sure enough we see our modification here. So we see now what we implemented in Copilot has now also just been passed off to our agent. So that's great. So we now have our new config in place. And lastly, what we need to do is we need to invoke our run sysmon config reload command, right? But I don't wanna do that directly from the endpoint. It would be better if I can do that directly from Wazoo. And so what we're going to now do is leverage Wazoo's Woodle to go ahead and do just that. So if I go into the agent.conf of my group here within the Wazoo web UI, you'll notice that we have this Woodle command here and I'll, uh, I'll include this uh, in the Medium post as well so you guys can can copy and paste it the only changes you would need to make is if you want to change the set a uh, different interval to have it run maybe automatically once a day or however frequent you want to run that again i haven't experienced any negative issues with reloading the sysmon config and i also believe too even if you have a syntax error sysmon won't fail out completely it just won't apply that new config change so it is a relatively safe procedure to do, but of course, always do make sure you test it prior to uh, prior to, to implementing it within your environment. But if we want to manually force this, uh, let's say I want it to run immediately. I don't want to have to wait till the end of the day. I can just modify this in some way. The easiest way is just to make the tag plural. And if I go ahead and save this, now this is going to cause our agent to restart, right? And in turn, since this is configured to run on start, this Boodle is configured to run on start, then it is going to run this sysmon reload config command and is now going to apply that command into, and sysmon is now going to use that new config file from here on out. Now, again, let's say I wanna make another change. Let's say I call this test one. I do on my upload, I do my deploy. I would wait a few, probably like a minute or so before jumping into your uh, Wazoo Woodle to if you're manually forcing this rather than waiting till the next interval for it to run because it does take a few seconds for the manager to pass that file to the endpoint. So I always wait a few seconds, no longer than a minute, I would think. And from what I've seen in my experience, but then let's say previously I made it plural. And if I want to apply this now immediately again, I'll just remove that and save it. And so now the same process is going to happen. The agent is going to invoke this command here, which will reload our sysmon config, which we're now managing within Copilot.
So is this the only way to manage your Sysmon configs? Absolutely not. You could do it a thousand different ways, but this is just, I wanted to uh, give you guys the ability to manage that from a central location. Of course, our central location is that of Copilot. And then we're able to then leverage Wazoo and some custom applications to enable us to live reload that config file whenever we need to. And again, you guys can now manage for different customers as well you see this one that we have here is just uh well nothing <laughs> it's not including anything so you may want to have you may want to manage different sysmon configs depending on your customer's environments and now we can do so and manage that directly within copilot so i hope this is helpful for you guys it was tremendously helped out the clients that we've worked with and of course if you want to get in touch with our professional services then you can reach out to us in the link in the description below. And I appreciate you guys time and I will see you in the next one.